Hi, everyone. This is an abstract talk for our paper Lockster around a theoretically fair leader election. So um, this is me and this is Elon. We need to decide who will go present the paper at crypto conference. Since we are in different city, we decide to do Blom's coin toss protocol on the blockchain. If the output is zero, then Elon wins and he will go. Otherwise, I will go present the paper. So we each choose a random bit and post the commitments of the random bit on the blockchain. If you're not familiar with blockchain, you can just think of it as a public bulletin board. So after we post the commitments, everyone can see it. After we post the commitments, we each open our random bit and post the opening on blockchain. Let's say my bit is zero and Elon's bit is one. Then the output would be the XOR of these two bits which is one. So I wing and here I am. However, Elon really wants to go to the beautiful beach in Santa Barbara. So after I post my bid on the blockchain, he knows he's gonna lose the game if he opens his bid. What if he refused to open his commitments? In this case, I just automatically wings and output is still one. So this is the famous Blom's coin toss protocol and it guarantees that a strategic player like Elon cannot bias the output towards his preference. Formally in a coin toss protocol, we want to toss a uniformly random coin. The fairness notion considered in traditional crypto literature is called strong fairness or unbiasability, which requires that a strategic player cannot bias the output towards either direction. Unfortunately, this is shown to be impossible against more than half size collision by Cleve in 1986. But we just saw that Blom's coin toss protocol achieves some fairness, which is more of a game theory favor. It guarantees that a strategic player cannot benefit itself by deviating from the protocol, nor can it harm an honest individual. So, a natural question to ask is what if we generalize to Maui Party? As you might have seen, our paper has four co-authors. So when it comes to multiple parties, we have a leader election problem that elects a leader from N players. The winner gains utility one and it takes all. The other just gain utility zero. So some of the players say Ling and Elong, they may form a coalition and they want to bias the output towards their favor. In leader election still, we also care about the game theoretic fairness. We want to guarantee that no coalition can increase its expected utility and no coalition can harm any honest individual. One thing is why do we care about this? Because strong fairness is impossible against half-sized coalition. However, in many decentralized applications, for example, voting on blockchain, many pseudonyms may be controlled by the same entity. And these pseudonyms will coordinate together and they may deviate from the protocol to gain benefit. It is very likely that these pseudonyms form a majority sized coalition. So we do need some meaningful fairness notion that it's achievable against a, major, a majority sized coalition. And game theoretic fairness is exactly such a notion that is likely weaker than strong fairness yet still meaningful and suitable for decentralized applications. And actually the attack I just mentioned with uh, a lot of pseudonyms is a real world attack that just happens a few days ago. So previous work have shown that if we're willing to use login rounds, we can achieve perfect game theoretic fairness against arbitrary sized coalition. And if we're willing to sacrifice a little bit fairness by just requiring approximate fairness, which says, okay, a coalition cannot increase their utility by too much. Then we can tolerate a one mind small or one unsized coalition. But what if we want to achieve smaller round complexity? Can we do smaller than lock lock in rounds? Can we still achieve meaningful fairness within small order of lock lock in rounds? In this work, we give an affirmative answer. We gave a Lockstar run approximate game theoretically for a leader election against, say, 0.9 in sized coalition. And in the full talk, we'll talk about how we get this result and we will give a fully parameterized result about the run complexity and the fairness parameter.
Thank you.